Hey, AFI Movie Club, I'm Davis Guggenheim and the director of Waiting for Superman. Waiting for Superman was my fourth documentary. I really feel like it was the first film where I had all the tools as a director to make what I wanted. I was really being very ambitious creatively. The thing that was the most exciting and the most difficult was putting together two very different storylines. And that was intentional from the beginning. The storylines of the kids and would they make it into the school of their choice with the lottery at the end? And then there was the storyline of the history of public education. And I'd started to do that on the movie Inconvenient Truth where I was intercutting Al Gore's slideshow and his personal narrative. It's, I sort of had to do it because that's what the movie sort of what it was that I had to make. Um, but in this case, I chose to make it this way. And the intercutting was really hard it was a really hard uh, puzzle to solve, but once I did, it was really exciting as a director because once you got two different storylines working dramatically, they both pushed the other along. And when it really gets right, it's like one plus one equals three. I really couldn't have done it without the incredible editor, Jay Cassidy, who cut Inconvenient Truth with me and my first documentary about public school teachers. My very first documentary was a movie called The First Year, which followed five first year teachers through their first year in public education. It was very much a traditional verite, what a lot of people call follow films. And Diane Wireman, who runs nonfiction at Participant Media asked me, would you like to do a film about public education? And I said, no, I, uh, I've done one and I don't know how to do it. It's too hard. Uh, that, that, the issue of public education is too complicated. And then I read this editorial by Tom Friedman, New York Times, and he wrote this incredible editorial about a lottery in the seed school in Baltimore and how parents and kids were all gathered into the gymnasium and waiting for this bingo ball, you know, thing that turns around and waiting to see if their ball drops. And if that's the case, they could get into this great school. And if it didn't, you know, in his mind, they were screwed. And um, when I read that, I, I rethought my no. And I was like, wow, that's an amazing way to tell that story. And so as much as I didn't know how I was gonna tell the full story, I knew that if I could do a movie that builds up to that last lottery, their fate to be decided by luck, I thought that would make a really interesting story. And um, metaphor for what is really wrong about public education or education in general, which is that, some are lucky to be granted a great education and some are extremely unlucky uh, to the schools that are given to them. And it's unfair and it feels un-American. And so that's, that's what changed my no to a yes and turned out to be Waiting for Superman. If you want to find out the best way to watch Waiting for Superman, go to AFI.com. Uh, thank you for watching my documentary and, and enjoy it.